One police officer described it as a spectacular scene. Two cars crash, one barreling into a Westwood home. Investigators think one driver may have been impaired. Now, for neighbors in this community, this was quite a shocking scene. That home left seriously damaged, and two people inside are badly hurt. Nine on your side's Roseanne Aragon talked to a man who tried to comfort one of the drivers he found lying in his yard. I'm standing in the yard of a man who lives right next door to where the car hit that home. He tells me little did he know, right in front of his feet, he'd find a man fighting for his life. There's somebody laying in the yard. It's hard to talk about. James Queen is still replaying the haunting images from last night. It was this crash outside. It was so loud you could feel it in your stomach. It was a collision that sent this pickup truck and this car flying. Police say both drivers were without seatbelt and speeding east on Glenway when the truck moved right to change lanes. We do believe that there is impairment on the driver of the pickup truck. He just barreled right into the back of them, launched them both up the hill and one end of the home and the other end of the driveway. Jacob Kirkus saw it. I was just hoping to save their lives so they wouldn't die. He says he was the first to call 911. The guy who got launched out of the truck was still breathing and the guy in the car was not moving at all. The driver of that car did not survive. Police haven't named him. The other 40-year-old Brian Griffin was thrown from his truck and into Queen's lawn. Queen would stay by his side. There's a human life in your yard. He says Griffin had a hard time breathing and was bleeding. I just wanted him to hang on. But inside the home, two other lives would be in danger. Queen's beloved neighbors, 84-year-old Hildegard and 94-year-old Eleanor Froelich, both sisters, would be sitting inside. They were struck from the flying debris after the car struck the, the house. Tonight, the sisters are in serious but stable condition at the hospital. The driver of the pickup truck is fighting for his life. And these two men who tried to help are praying for the recovery. I hope this something ever happens to me that someone will be there. Police are still waiting for the toxicology reports. Once those are finished, they'll send their findings to the Hamilton County prosecutor. Reporting in Westwood, I'm Roseanne Aragon, 9 on your side.